Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me and for this week's spread I'm using this kit from Miss and Meow. I believe she called this kit Evergreen if I remember correctly um, and it was such a beautiful kit. I did use it in the first week of December in my other planner and then I decided to use um, the leftovers. I guess this is like the first full week of December because the last spread was uh, like the last week of November going into December. To make it more clear, this is December 6th through the 12th, so about a month ago now, but I hope you guys are okay with me deciding to still do these December spreads, but skipping over the um, like last half of October and November, just because we're just so way beyond fall at this point. Obviously, we're beyond like December and the holidays as well, but I still wanted to post some of those spreads since some of the kits that I'm using are more wintry than Christmassy, like this one. And then on Christmas week itself, it's also my birthday week. So I just used a, or like I will use a birthday kit, um, which I think is kind of obviously an anytime kit, depending on when your birthday is. <laughs> so into the spread in my sidebar, I used the weekly checklist because I thought it was really cute and had a lot of like the pattern um, of the kit. And then I used... Um, two headers that I kind of layered together. So Regina has these scalloped headers, but I wanted to cover up the script that was on them because it didn't really relate to what I was doing. Um, and so I just put one of these like, you know, double line headers on top of it. And then I used a habit tracker to track studying since my exams started this week. I had two this week and one the following week. So I used a study script from my shop on top of the habit tracker. The date dots are and um, the bow date dots from my shop that I feel like I say this every time, but the bow date dots aren't available anymore, but the regular ones without the bows are. <laughs> and then the headers were from the kit as well. They were just like her confetti headers um, that I didn't use originally. So they came in very handy for this spread. And then into our day by day, um, the first thing that I'm marking here is that I finished reading the book called Every Last Secret, which I actually really liked. I haven't heard too many people talk about it, I don't think, but I did really like it. So if you guys need a new book, um, I would recommend that one. To mark that, I used uh, one of the square boxes from the kit, some deco from the kit, and then a book bow icon from my shop. And then I marked that I um, ordered some food because um, I'd been home alone for the last like two weeks before this. My parents were um, in Israel, like visiting some family. And so um, I had just obviously been cooking for myself. Normally I do some cooking um, and then my mom probably does like a majority of it. Um, but yeah, I just got lazy to cook this day. So I was like, I'm going to order some food. And so I did that and I marked it with a meal bow icon with some floral deco. And then I marked that I was picking up my parents from the airport this day um, with a car bow icon layered on top of an arrow. It was so annoying because <laughs> so the drive to the airport is maybe 30 minutes, but it took me about an hour because I got so lost. I accidentally put in the wrong part of the airport like I put in a commercial side of the airport that I don't even think I knew existed and I remember when I was on the highway first of all that was a mess I'll get into that in a second but I remember I was like I'm not seeing the signs that I usually see but I'm gonna trust my GPS it's probably taking me you know a different route um, it was pitch black outside and very conveniently there had been no snow going on all day but of course in that one hour that I was driving on the highway during rush hour of course there had to be a blizzard where I could barely see anything so everyone was driving so slowly I had no idea where I was going my parents were waiting for me I was it was such a hot mess but I did make it eventually <laughs> and you know obviously they were understanding but still it was that was that was a shit show and very stressful. Um, anyways, on Tuesday, I had a few things that I had to return. So I just packed up those um, like packages. And then, like I said, I had finals this week. So this was a pretty big study day. I used a third box to mark that um, with a pen bow icon and some deco. I should mention the sticker that I used um, to pack the returns was actually from the deco sheet as well. And then I just went on a little walk and listened to music. I keep seeing people talk about mental health walks on TikTok. And so like, that's exactly what my walk and music 
you know, situations are. But I used a sneaker bow icon for that. And then I also used some floral deco at the bottom of the day with one of the snowflake um, dividers from my shop. Wednesday was the day before my final started. So again, another study day. I used a half box from the kit and then this laptop bow icon was from my shop. I was like going back and forth between a few different stickers to mark like studying. Um, so I was using these laptops, the pen bow icons, and then I think I also used the book bow icons um, to mark that. Clearly I am a student and that's, I guess, reflected in the stickers that I have in my shop. But I guess laptops can be generic, pens can be generic, books you can just mark reading. Anyways, uh, then this day I did have a plan with me go live. So I marked that with a planner bow icon and some floral deco. And then I also did do some filming since I was starting plan miss, which let's not talk about it. That was a total disaster and did not happen. Um, in previous years, I was very good about it. I don't think I missed any days, and if I did, I missed one. But this year, you know, I got sick. It didn't happen. I got busy. <laughs> so we're catching up and skipping some spreads. Um, but anyways, the camera um, icon that I used is also from my shop. And again, some deco. Then Thursday, I had uh, my exam that was kind of like related to what was supposed to be my clinical. Um, so it was like a combination of a mental health course and um, pediatrics. So we did like six weeks of peds and then six weeks of like um, psychiatry or mental health, whatever you want to call it. So I had the exam for that, which is like kind of hard to study for courses like that because you're not um, as focused on like one topic. So you like study, you know, one thing for a little bit and then another, but they're like not exactly related. So I don't love when they do that. Um, we've had a few courses like that, but it is what it is. And then in the evening after my exam, I went on a walk with a friend and we went to go see some Christmas lights. We walked around outside for a bit, but then it just got way too cold. Um, but I really like how I marked it um, with the little mittens from the deco sheet of the kit. And then afterwards, we just like went to this lounge that was close by. So I marked that with a half box, some floral deco. And then I wanted to use a um, snowflake divider on this side of the spread as well. So I just popped it at the bottom of the day there. Um, Friday, I had uh, some packages come in. I had an Amazon order come in as well as an order from Crafts by Towie, probably my Black Friday order. Um, so I used the same sticker that I did on Tuesday. So I had two sheets of this deco. One of them I went through um, when I originally used this kit and then I had a bunch of leftovers. So of course I pulled it in here, but I guess I didn't use either of like the package stickers. They're really probably like Christmas gifts, but I kind of used them in place of packages. And then I went to the grocery store. So I used the grocery bag icon. Um, those are the newer icons in my shop. And I layered that on top of a uh, scallop circle from the kit. Actually, these laptops are also from my shop. I didn't mention that for Thursday. But back to Friday evening, I did grab some Starbucks. Um, and I also was working on a ref reformat for the kits in my shop. I still haven't finished it. I haven't touched it since this day. Um, but I did a majority of it. So eventually, one of these days, I will finish it. And I hope you guys like it. If there's anything that you guys would like to see in my kits, I would love to know. Or anything that you don't necessarily use that you think I can replace, please let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts um, before I finish the reformat. So let me know. But to mark that on Friday evening, I used a third box with one of these coffee stickers from the Christmas bow icon sheet from my shop. Then Saturday, I had my exam for my research course, so I marked it the same way I did on Thursday with the laptop um, icon from my shop, and then one of my girlfriends came over. She had asked me, so she's like kind of planning to start a candle company, which is really exciting, and she asked me to, um, you know, do like the labels for the first like batch or whatever it is of her candles, and she was also gifting some. Um, as like holiday gifts to family and friends. So I was like, of course, no problem. So she came over, but before that we decided to grab some lunch. We went to this, um, like Chinese restaurant. That's so good. That's kind of like nearby where we live and where she used to live. 
Um, I marked the little lunch date with a third box, some floral deco, and a meal bow icon. And then making those candle labels, I used the, of course, candle <laughs> sticker from my shop. Um, and then some deco. On a Sunday, I went to the mall with my mom. I like how this little section turned out. I thought it was super cute. Um, I used another one of the square boxes from the kit, some floral deco. The shopping bag icon is from my shop. And then I decided to pull in some of these um, like twinkle stickers or I don't know, the little, what are they called? Hanging st string lights. There we go. I don't even know if that's what these are meant to be, but that's what I'll call them. Um, that is from Honey Inked. And then I marked studying with a book bow icon, same one as I used on Monday, and some floral deco. And then my brother was coming home this day, so he came home the week before, which you may have heard me mention, but he left the next day to Mexico with his friends, and then this was him like coming home for the holidays for a few weeks. So mark that with a airplane doodle icon from my shop, and then I layered some stickers from the kit like behind it. And then I decided to add in some of these little snowflake stickers that were from the advent calendar um, in my shop that went out in, I can't even say last year, it was 2020, but I had a few of them left, so I wanted to sprinkle them in. And yeah, that was pretty much it. I love this spread. I think it's gorgeous, and I hope you guys liked it as well. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!